This month, we're going to step up our paper airplane game by inventing a handheld electric paper airplane launcher. This thing feels like something out of an Iron Man movie. It works the same as a baseball pitching machine. These two wheels turn in opposite directions, and when the plane moves through it, the wheels grab the plane and launch it forward. Let's get started. First, take our plate with 13 holes in it. Stick a screw through the last hole in the 13 hole plate. Then, install the motor mounting plate on that screw. Be sure to stick the screw through the hole in the plate, not the slot. Then install a screw through that slot. Install a nut on each of these screws and screw it all the way down. The plate should be able to pivot back and forth like this. Repeat these last couple of steps for the other mounting plate on the other side of the 13 hole plate. Make sure the screw on the outside is going through the hole on the motor mounting plate. Next, we need to tighten everything in place. So with our super cool multi-tool, let's tighten all four nuts. The plate should be very hard to rotate now. Then, slip a 17 hole plate over the screws so that you have two holes on the outside of each screw. Secure this in place with two nuts. Next, we're going to install our motors. You may need an adult's help for this. Using a little bit of force, wiggle it back and forth to feed it through the hole in the motor mounting plate. Repeat this step for the other motor. Next, we can go ahead and push the wheels on the motor shafts. You may have to pivot the motor mounts out in order to get both wheels on. Once you get both wheels on, pivot them so that there is a small gap between the wheels. Remember, they should be hard to pivot, so you may need an adult's help. Next, we're going to start building the frame. To do this, we're going to install some dowels in some of these holes, and to make this easier, we provided a crayon that you can use to color your dowel. To do this, color all sides of your dowel all the way around. When coloring the dowels, put a piece of paper down so you don't mark on the table. Once you get it started, you can push down on something like a cutting board or a piece of wood. Now, take one of your long black plates and one of your 3 inch dowels and install it one, two, three, four holes over from the end. Push it on until it sticks through about an inch or so. And then repeat that for the other black plate and your other three inch dowel. Hold them up and check to make sure they're roughly the same. Then install a two inch dowel in the other end of each of the black plates. Install it the opposite direction of the last dowel and push it on until it's flush with the end of the black plate. Repeat for the other black plate and your other two inch dowel. Next we're going to install our motor assembly. We're going to install it on the short end of the dowel sticking through the black plate. Push it through until it's flush on the last hole on the motor mounting black plate. Repeat this step on the other side. Then, tie the two 2 inch dowels on the end together with the black block. Now, with a 13 hole plate and two 3 quarter inch dowels, install the two dowels in the ends of the 13 hole plate and push them on until they're flush. Install this plate as a cross member. You'll see where it lines up. You can kind of wiggle it around and see where two holes line up, but it's actually 14 holes down from the motor side. Push it all the way through. Then with two of your inch and three quarter dowels, install them on either side of the middle hole. That's going to be six holes from the left and six holes from the right. 
install this dowel till it's flush. Then, connect these dowels you just installed and the 2 inch dowels on the end with your 26 hole black plates. Once again, push them on until they're flush. These will act as guides guiding the paper airplane in between the two wheels. The guides need to be positioned slightly higher than the wheels so that the paper airplane can ride over them. Adjust the motors and the guides so that the guides are positioned just higher than the wheels. To make this happen, you may have to push your motors down or rearrange your dowels a little bit. There, that looks pretty good. In order for the paper airplane to launch, we're going to need our motors to turn in opposite directions. For them to turn opposite directions, we need to hook the positive lead of the motor up to the negative lead of the other motor. If you look on the back side of the motor, there's a very small plus on one of the contacts. So take the positive wire of motor 1 and the negative wire of motor 2 and twist them together. Then, with one of your alligator clips, clip it on the twisted end of the wire. Repeat this step for the other two wires. Take one of the big black hole plates and install two of the three quarter inch dowels in two of the opposite corners. Then lay it on the long black hole plates that we called the runners. Run two of the wires through one of the slots in the side of the black hole plate and the other two wires through the other slot. Now, with the other large black hole plate, push it down on the dowels so that the connections will be on the inside of the two big black hole plates. Make sure the other ends of the alligator clips are sticking out the other end of the black hole plate like this. Now we will need our last dowel, our 11 hole plate, and our 4 hole plate. Use these two black plates to clamp the big black plate with the wire connections in it in place. It will be held in place with the two dowels on the ends of the runners and this clamping piece. You should push everything on until the clamp is tight. Now with our batteries in our battery pack, we're going to stick the battery pack onto this black plate. You may have to shift the black plate over a little bit in order to give you room for the battery pack. We like ours on this side so that we can hold the launcher in our right hand. Now. Go ahead and hook up both the alligator clips. Hook one to the red wire and one to the black wire of the battery pack. Now, switch the battery pack on. Both your wheels should be turning in opposite directions. The right wheel should be turning clockwise and the left wheel should be turning counterclockwise. You'll be able to tell whenever you turn the motor off and they slow down a little bit. If they're both turning opposite, then you need to swap the red wire and the black wire on the battery pack. If they're both turning in the same direction, you'll need to go back and flip the wires that you twisted together. Now, to make it handheld, take your last black hole plate and stick it on the ends of the 3 inch dowels to act as a handle. All right. Now we're ready to launch the paper airplanes. The launcher was designed to work best with the Emil paper airplane. Check out the other video to learn how to fold the Emil and then go have some fun launching some planes.